The path to success. We know in order to treat an individual with respect, we have to be in submission and agreement with the Lord's way of love. God's way is the path of impartial justice with qualities of goodness, righteousness, and truth to accomplish our needs. James 3.17 But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. In your hand. 1 Corinthians 2.12 Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. It has come time to seriously consider the tools that will be used in intervening with planned care. We have from the performance of an assessment gained information. Information gives us knowledge of a person with a specified condition. We are aware of the intervention modalities which has been implemented successfully before. For such a condition, the person before us is displaying. Though we are aware of there being certain effective methods which have been used on those with the same presented symptoms of a person we are helping, we do not know how this needy person will respond. We have to see the person and identify their response, just as Jesus knows and leads us based upon how he sees our response individualized and recorded. Individuality of a person who is to receive care must not be compared with the expectations of another person who had similar intervention methods used for them. It is important to keep observation of the individual being served based on their uniqueness and diverse frame of reference, which could have impact on the care intervention. The person's individual response must be considered with the proper application of an intervention procedure to determine if the person, by use of a procedure, is benefiting evaluation of the needy person's reaction must take place. A written report is most valuable in gaining knowledge from the use of any care intervention. We have advantage in giving purposed care because of the written and measurable methods we obtain by becoming joint laborers with the Lord Jesus. All of the admonitions we receive from the Word of God as we learn to understand and respect the present help we have been given, we will advance in living our lives by using the intervention our Lord has for us to put into use.